Yeah, yes. Alright, <laughs> All right, so I've been looking forward to this one after seeing these matches projecting projecting to win his finals. This is gonna be a Pokemon trainer ditto. Yes, you know what that means. Ivysaur dittos. Possibly? That's see, right, I forgot he plays Squirtle. Yeah, he plays Squirtle see, Charizard. the thing with Pokemon trainer dittos is you have three different characters that you can play against each other. So you can play like a total of two, three, four, five. You can play like, no actually, one versus three. You can play up to nine different matchups in one match. It's, yeah, it's really weird, but very dynamic. I, this is good. This is good for me because I might have to fight him in grands. One if you can make the massive losing run, dude. If I, you could probably do that. Uh, here's the funny thing: is I lost to him round one, so I want the run back. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna lose 3-0 this time. <laughs> no, you gotta take a game, dude. I, if I don't take a game, I'm actually a disgrace. Take me off PR. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually, please don't. I think you're HM this season. You, you, had, a good, you had a good run in the first season. Yeah, I, I was 11th on PR last time. All right, anyway. Start All off right. with Ivysaur Squirtle. One of them started off correctly. <laughs> and there are those razor leaves. You know, that, it's a great projectile. Honestly, I think it's like Young Link, Young Link Bow, but like slightly worse. You know what I mean? I'd say Young Link Bow is definitely way better because of the head stun, and I feel like it's more consistent to follow up off of too. Fair point, but Ivysaur does have a lot of combos off of Razor Leaf, you gotta remember that. Yeah, but it relies more off of spacing, so you can't just like get all that all the time. You're right. I feel like Young Link needs uh, a little bit more space. Oh wow, he caught him Vine Whipping, he was able to make it back in range to get another Vine Whipping, so he's, he's fine there, but yeah, like, doing his a lot pressure is really nice on the ledge there. Ooh, that raw F smash. There's that Nair. Oh, there we go. There is what we're waiting for. Mm. And there's... Oh, down it didn't hit. There's a down air. Ooh. Ooh that was a tricky solid angle. recovery. Good yeah, so Vine Whip could cover a Ooh. huge recovery. Oh, Charizard actually working? That was good. That was honestly really good. I don't think he was expecting the switch. Not at all, dude. No so one... I was talking about Withdraw earlier. I forgot that if you hit it with a strong enough attack, it knocks you back. Yeah. I mean, it's very weird. You also, don't take percent, but you get knocked back for it. Yeah, also, if you footstool it, Squirtle's a vulnerable. To... Mm -hmm. I mentioned that. Oh, you did? All right. Yeah. Ooh, there's that up there. Up air. Takes a KO even now. Solid up air. Like, I... Charizard, hella strong, but Ivy is just better. You know what I mean? They're playing out the Squirtle dealer right now. Who is Edgeguard with uh, Squirtle? He keeps off with this character. Yo, let's go. Oh, Nasty. no. You didn't recognize Yo, homie stalking. Homie stalking. Wait, it's final? Homie stalking. Yo, I'm... Oh, it's, it's, not... it's nice to see they have honor. But I also remember... <laughs> <laughs> You got baited there. I also remember that one tweet I saw that was like, yo, if you're homie stalk, you're a dick. I'm like, whoa. I know, right? Ooh, there it is. Oh, that that's down I there. Falgar takes game number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... maybe you don't want a homie stock versus Ivysaur. That down there can get the No, I mean, no, he was, for you Ivysaur's well. the one that homie stock. Falgar homie stock. Who's the one who has deed? No, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want a homie stock in this match. Wait, did who homie stock? No, I thought it was Falgar who homie stock, because who has deed? <laughs> Let's pay attention to the palettes. Yeah, okay. Let's pay attention to the palettes. That's because, good. Like, the Pokemon trainers in the distance, it's hard to tell like which ones are showing which trainer unless you know like, yeah. what their colors are respectively. But, like, I think one of them is playing base, if I if I remember If one correctly. of them is playing the uh, default, that helps. Yeah, helps a lot. FD? Hmm. I think Sora likes the stage uh, comfortably. Yeah. I think this is a comfort stage. Yeah, look, base. Now that's one base trainer. Alright, and that's on Falgar, right? No, no that's on who. who. Okay. It's kind of confusing because the uh, display. <laughs> All right, starting off with Squirtle yet again. Oh, they both started off with Squirtle this time. Falgar started off with Ivy in the first game, you notice that. Mm -hmm. But now he's more comfortable in just playing the Squirtle middle. Yep. Armor right through that. Well, There's just fight the right Ivy through that. Oh, and... gosh. Ooh. OK. OK, using that Ivy for that edge guard, so he was able to get through that situation pretty well. He needs to get some percent build up, build up here because Falgar is running off momentum with that last game. For sure. like. He only has 28 on him. Oh, I stand corrected. But still, uh, Valgar with a sizable lead. 
getting smaller though. Mm -hmm. He's trying to fight through these razor leaps and it's just working really well for who to build up damage as a result. Ooh, there, oh, ooh, good call. There's the up air. He caught the jump after the switch. That was, a, that, that was a smart switch, but it was also Charizard, so. Little Squirtle, maybe? See, the thing is, if you feel like you have to switch Pokemon. Oh, oh no, no, no. Can you make no. it? Oh, oh, the Charizard that could, but couldn't make it. Oh, man. That, that, that is actually like one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen. I was gonna comment that sometimes you have to switch to Charizard when you're in disadvantage, but you also have to deal with Charizard, which has the weakest ledge off, um, options of disadvantage, so it's kind of hard oh. to get out there. Yeah. Macro didn't kill, he didn't find the sweet spot there, but it was actually pretty close to kill him regardless. Yeah. There's the down throw. Ooh. Oh, dude, Sawyer's so using the sick Charizard right now. I love, right. I love this game for Charizard. I actually do use this Pokemon Trainer as well. I was a Yeah, there's that floor there. I was actually Felgar, I'm a dummy. Yeah, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Yeah, no, Toy is playing base yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Oh gosh, what are you guys doing? Really good start from Felgar. I'm scared, what are they doing? They agreed on something. Oh, they're changing characters. Oh, shoot! These are some big boys. You know, this is less confusing. For sure. <laughs> Falgar plays Ganon, too. Uh, I, I, I've seen him playing Ganon against a few people. And yeah, in friendlies, I've seen him play a little bit. He, he's definitely got a Ganon, so like, he can bring this to him. To be fair, though, who I doesn't have against, a Ganon? I played against Sawyer's K rule as well, so. Solid. I'd say this is possibly a secondary for Fal Falgar. This can work in some matchups. And then for who? Um, can't get the rule. This is a cool guy, cool character. You know, I'm yeah, really like the the names are currently uh, not correct, but that's fine. Could definitely tell who they are now. Yeah, there's that up smash. Up smash. You gotta love how Falgar just charging <laughs> another up smash. Well, I mean, oh, missing that down air, doing it a bit too. Oh, the clap, mm -hmm. clap, not killing. Almost enough to. Okay. Alright, you know what I expected? I expected him to just cannon like that, but like, do that ledge. Ooh, nice wow. back air. Okay. That was a nice roar. That was a surprise, uh, push off on the And there's the four there. him for that. Wonder Boss puts you in a lot of leg. Yeah, I mean, you gotta commit to it. Mm. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> he even says it, but he's doing up tilt. Dude, he is so Ganon. into this. Ganon, dude. He, dude, his, his Ganon? Okay. I think he actually is Ganon. So I think Falgar is Ganon. I want to comment on Falgar's uh, let's wait. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've known that he's Ganon this whole time. I would <laughs> but, like, <clears throat> um, Falgar adjusted his edge guards there. He originally he was trying to go off against K. Rool, but he realized he couldn't do that, so he just started ledge trapping him more, and it worked out way better to get that song. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh my God. God. Dude, 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 that sounds like something I would do. Don't do that. If I do it, it's not a good option. Okay, decent combo there. All right. Ooh, the tech. That was a weird tech, honestly. That was a terrible tech. <laughs> yeah, the, that tech didn't work. And the players are responding to the commentators. Cool. Down there? Uh, oh, almost. Saved he committed by, for that, but those saved by are so man. good for K. Rule. For sure, for sure. Yeah, this is looking close. There's that down beat. And they're off stage. Putting the foot right through that crown. The crown disappears off stage. That takes away an option from K. Rule. And Back there's here, that. Ganon hits first. Oh, and wow. And barely takes the, takes the game. That's a 3-0 oh, victory for Falgar. Dude. dude, that was a very dominating Ganon play. Until the very end. That was actually pretty close. Falgar in the grand winner's side.